Daily Fire episode 324. If it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. For all your supplement needs, go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, I'm going to have Kyle show this. This is the Phillips Graveyard, which is, uh, I believe, the Dutch family that um, settled where I live at, which is their old farm in like the early 1900s, right? Late 1800s. And what's cool about that graveyard, it's right beside my house. So when I drag a sled, when I run, whatever it is, I have to go buy it. And I've read about the people that live there. Um, I, I got a book on it. I saw like, I, I, when I see the name of the road, I think about them. And then there's civil war vets in there. It's, it's all kinds of really cool people. And I think to myself, like all of us, we're all going to be there one day. And when I talk to older people, the biggest thing that a lot of them have is that they regret not trying things. And so the first thing I thought today when I was dragging the sled by the grave site close to my house was I'm fucking refusing to go to that spot right there on the way there, regretting not trying shit. That I'm going to take, I'm calling it calculated risk. I'm going to take... Uh, when I do fail with things that it's a learning experience, which I always have. And then ultimately when I have new opportunities, I should win. I'm going to learn from them. I'm not afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to have to restart. I've had to do it multiple times in my life, but also like you have to take some risk if you want to get better. And I just don't want to be that 90 year old person that knows they have a few weeks left or that hundred year old person that knows they have a few weeks left and think, why didn't I do that? Why didn't I do this? What, what was my, what was holding me back? What social standard was I following? Why didn't I become more authentic? Why didn't I record more often? Like I want to like, what, what is the thing that uh, you're thinking about that's been eaten at you that you're like, man, I got to try that. Man, I got to do that. Even if it's a side project, like it's something that's a hobby that you love. Like just get involved in it. Like don't go to the grave thinking, you know what? What the fuck? Why was I so concerned with that person thought? Why did I care about this? Like that is just not something I'm interested in. And I think about that when I'm taking risks and when I'm trying new things and I think about, I'm going to look back and be glad I did. I, there's certain things when it's really like high risk and I'm in it. Sometimes it don't work out. Sometimes it does, but I know either way. And it's one of those things like if I quit trying, I have no shot. But at least if I just don't quit trying and I keep moving, then it's an opportunity to for something great maybe to happen. So it's literally that simple. If you just don't do it, there's never a chance at happening. It's just not fucking possible. But if you just give it a try, what happens if it shows some light? What happens if it's uh could could really happen? What happens if like your skill that you've suppressed all these years? could actually pay your living in lifestyle and change your family. But you suppressed it because you listened to someone else. See what I'm saying? Like, just give it a fucking chance. And every time you're scared about it, think about the regret that you're going to have when you're fucking old. Like, I'll, I'll be honest right now. Like, one of my, uh, you know, obsessions has been dunking my whole life, literally since I was a kid. My dad always wanted to dunk and he couldn't dunk. And I think that was one of the things we locked on with that I was able to when I was in high school, but I couldn't really do it for a long period of time. I had a short window where I was pretty good at it. Never happened in a game, but I was able to do it. And then as I got heavier, it kind of weighed me down and I never really counteracted that. And multiple times in my career, I've been able to get like an easy, you know, get a dunk down here and there, but my window's closing. I'm about to be 45 years old. And I know that. So I want to live that for real dunk life where any place, any time, 
it can happen. And I know Treadway's about that too. So it's like, I don't want to regret that I didn't go all in to try it. So I could physically and mentally showcase and experience what it feels like to fly up there and jam that motherfucker. As funny as that sounds, but that's just something that's authentic to me. I got now about 30 throwback jerseys I bought off eBay to rep because I'm on this whole dunk life. Shout out Steve Selly, dunk life. And so it's like one of those things where I don't want to regret that when I know, because at some point I'm not going to be able to do it. Now, is that five years? Is that two years? Is that one year? I don't know. I'm training so I can do it for a while. But the reality is, do I want to regret that? And I know that's something that's pretty elementary. I know that's something that's pretty juvenile to most people. But to me, I'm trying to be in that 1% or half percent category that's 45 below six feet and can dunk. Just what it is. And so those are things, and that's just one example, but those are the way that I process things. And I just want you to get locked onto that with Daily Fire episode 324.